It had been a drought, like none we'd seen. The blueberries died and did not give their color to the sky. And the clouds, they finally gave. But it was acid on our tongues and a villain to us all. I walked in a search. The sky lay on the earth like a blanket, and its tears crushed us. Its melancholy was a fog all around. There, de there was a deterrence from the cemented path into a woodland that led down into a black darkness. It echoed words. The darkness was a black reflection glass, ornamented with the skulls of the innocent. The skulls were made of oak, cedar, and pine. Their faces were contorted in an expression of contempt, and their eyes flickered with a flame. The darkness deep within, echoing a word, one word I could hear so far away, plague. I entered, I searched. As I continued, the darkness became a forest, a woodland of suffocation, and I was the observer. All around, the trees begged for release. They begged for air. They gulped all around, like a sea of fish in a dry lake. I could not relieve them. I wanted to turn away, but, but a word echoed and entranced me. It echoed one word, plague. As I reached the end of the darkness, I faced that black reflection glass. On it, the skulls of the innocent chattered, and the flame of their eyes roared. I saw myself in that black glass. A beast knelt in the reflection, crouching and gnawing his teeth into a corpse, the corpse of a white fawn. The fawn's head lay awkwardly, its neck lay contorted and open, its eyes stared into me, and the beast licked his lips with the blood of the innocent. I turned away and wept. I continued and descended further and further, going down level by level into the darkness, hypnotized by a whisper, plague. Finally, I came to the remnants, the corpse of a tree. He lay halfway in his grave, gaping for air and mumbling a word, plague. I stood close to listen. His body was cold, rotten flesh, but his eyes were infernos, and I was burning too, swallowed in the flames of hate. He wanted one thing, to echo his words, a whimper of a whisper died on his lips, but I heard, you are plague. His last breath left him. It smelled of spring and laughter. I licked a tear off his lips, and it burned my tongue. It was acid. I breathed on his arms. I tried to give them life, but they only withered more, and the words echoed off my lips. I am plague.